Good afternoon, everyone. It's me again, Keith, the Seven Figure Barber. Today, I want to talk to you about a challenge that I do for myself, and I'm going to challenge everyone out there who's listening to this. It's called the Pencil Box Challenge. And what the Pencil Box Challenge is, a way for you guys to save money. I set a goal for myself to save a nice bit of change, save, okay, $5,000. And this is how I did it. Every single day, I put up dollars. Yeah, dollars. Something that you go to the vending machine to go get. You may go to the store and get your soda or fountain drink or something like that. Instead of using that dollar to get go to that vending machine or to get you a fountain drink or just any old piece of item that you're at the store with, or when you're in Walmart and you see the little 79 cent candy bars or the 59 cent candy bars at the register. And you're like, well, you know, I got a dollar in my pocket. An extra dollar. I can just do that. This is what you do. Instead of you blowing that, that dollar, put it in the pencil box. Pencil box. This is going to be your safe for yourself. And do not count it until you feel like you've reached $100. How are you going to do that, you say? This is a disciplinary thing to help you with saving money. In the beginning, it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard, but as you continue to go on, they say if you do something 22 times, it becomes a habit. So if you continue doing these things for 22 days straight, it's gonna become a habit. You're gonna feel like if you don't do it, you're gonna be mad at yourself, pissed off. You're gonna be pouting. You're like, man, I should have did this. I know I can do it. So this is an opportunity for you to discipline yourself to make and save money. So what you do, if you at work, if you have a paycheck, a job that, you know, nine to five, and you get a paycheck and things like that, yeah, it may be, you may think it's a little hard, but in actuality, it may be a little easier. Because if you're going out on your lunch break, say you're going to McDonald's, I don't know, wherever you decide you want to eat at, and you have cash in your pocket, like most of us do, we might have a card. Let's say you had cash in your pocket. You break that cash, that $20 bill, let's say, and you get back $14. Those $4 from that $14 is the start of your pencil box challenge. So once you get home, you put them in that pencil box. So how are you going to do that? You're gonna, so in order for you not to go to that vending machine, you're going to take those $4 you're going to fold them up, put them in your a wallet if you're a male, and then put them, or put them in your um, bill folder if you're a female. This is going to be an opportunity for you to save you some money. So what are you going to be saving for? I don't know. Whatever you feel like you may need. You set the goal for yourself. Not no one else set the goal, but you set the goal for yourself. And what you set the goal for yourself is going to help you figure out what you want to do with yourself. Say, okay, I want to save up $500. Okay, what do you need to do with that $500? You know that you got to save up 500 ones to get to that amount. Okay, so are you going to be disciplinary to do it? <clears throat> yes, I am. Yes, you are going to be disciplined to do it because you want to reach that $500 mark. Yeah, you can say, well, I can just save up a bunch of 20s or, or, I, can, or I can just not cash my check. Yeah, do those things. But I guarantee you that you trying to do those things, something's going to come up. It always happens. Murphy's Law, something's going to come up. But what you have in those ones, it's a little bit, it's dollar bills. This is going to be an opportunity for you to save up some money to reach the things and reach the goals that you want and to help you with your discipline area, being more disciplined with yourself. So are you up for the challenge? I believe so. Don't start out high. Don't be like, I'm going to save up uh, $5,000. Yeah, don't try to do like I did. I started out with saying if I can save up $1,000 in ones. <clears throat> just ones, just playing around with it, just see what I can do. And as I continue to do it, I started, I started challenging myself more and more to go further and forth, further and further out to reach different goals. I started with 1000 then I worked my way up to 2,000, 3, 4, 5. Then, yeah, between 
between that five, I mean that two and that five, got a little hard, got a little stagnated. I was like, man, I got a lot of money I don't put up. Get some tape more orange. That was pretty, pretty amazing, pretty awesome. But you can do it. All you need to do is discipline yourself for doing it. A lot of people be like, well, you're a barber. You deal with cash on a day-to-day basis. That's true. I do deal with cash on a day-to-day basis. But guess what? I discipline myself. What I'm trying to teach you to do, discipline yourself to do the exact same thing. The pencil box challenge. It's so simple. Take the time out of the day and just think about it. Okay, well, I do have a lot of ones and, and everything changed and things left over as well. Guess what? This will be an opportunity for you to start. Even if you start with a dollar a day, guess what? You're putting them in that pencil box. And as you continue to save, you're going to start realizing, wow, I have a lot of money I don't put up. Just keep the repetition going over and over again. I guarantee you will see results. Discipline. That's the easiest thing you can do. So go ahead, try it. The pencil box challenge. It's me, Keith, the seven-figure barber, signing off. Have a wonderful and blessed day.